What's cracking everybody? It's me, Scuba Steve, and I wanted to show you a quick tip on how to properly tighten your dive mask straps. Let's get started. So before you do anything as far as tightening goes, whether you're in a store or you're here at the lake or at the beach, you wanna make sure that the mask that you're about to tighten to your face fits properly. So step number one, get a mask that fits you properly. I've seen it and I've heard it, I've done it. When you get a mask that doesn't quite fit the contour of your face well, and you put it on like so, and it's too loose or whatever, and then you take the straps and you just cinch it until it's super tight, and I can feel that it's very uncomfortable, that shows that it may not be the best fit for you. So make sure the mask you're about to use fits your face properly. If it does, the next step is to put the mask on your person like so. Make sure that the skirt has no abrasions, obstructions to it, and it's fitting you that the skirt is laid up against your face properly. And then you'll see these sides right here of the strap and right here. And what you want to do is you'll want to grab and you can tighten, but that's not where it ends. Now, with the Kraken Aquatics mask, you can take these buttons right here, you mash it down, and listen. It releases to where it's comfortable on my face. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose either. If I go in the water like so, I'll be comfortable. Another rule of thumb is when you're underwater and you're getting water into your mask, it is not a good idea while you're underwater to cinch your mask tighter. A lot of times, that will actually bring more water in. It'll be very uncomfortable and it's just not a good situation to be in. So when you're underwater and you have water coming into your mask, first feel around, see if there's any, um, any parts of your skirt that's flipped in. Make sure that it's fitting properly underwater. Uh, go ahead and blow out to get the water out. A couple things to remember, guys, if you have mustaches, beards, that can actually raise up the skirt and bring water in with every fiber of your hair pushing the skirt up just a little bit. So if you have a mustache or a beard and it's obstructing this portion of your skirt of the dive mask, just go ahead and put some Vaseline or something like that on it to lay it down. And that'll kind of remedy the problem instead of having to trim or shave, which is an option as well. Another thing I like to cut up, and so when I have my dive partner and things and we're scuba diving underwater or snorkeling, I'll crack a joke or something, do funny hand gestures, and I'll smile or laugh. When you smile and laugh, these, these lines right here actually create space in your mask to where water comes up. So those are some things just to be on the lookout for when uh, tightening your mask strap. There is a proper and an improper way to do that. And we showed you the proper way. Just make sure you're not pulling too tight. You don't want your mask too tight. Uh, that's again, very uncomfortable underwater. It doesn't help anything. Make sure that when you put it on your person, it fits you properly and that you've got it released to where it is just comfortable enough to where when you go underwater, you're gonna have pressure on your mask anyway like so if you can put this on your person and breathe in and everything is sealed and you're still comfortable you're good to go and i'm scuba steve with kraken aquatics we'll catch you next time